municipal. <laughs> what is happening? It is Brian with Long Crack, and we're back with another Q and A. And today, the <laughs> it's a one-word question. It's municipal <laughs> because it is the the forgotten about uh, type of customer. Everyone always mentions residential and commercial, and you hardly ever hear anybody say anything about municipal. Now, I'm gonna tell you, like, I have never done like a government contract or something like this, but I did have a contract with the city uh, where my business was actually located. It's, it's where I, I lived in that city, and I also, when the city kicked my business out of my house, uh, we went down the street to a little commercial district in the neighborhood and set up shop there. Th this turned out to be a very lucrative deal for my company. So just don't, don't think like you can only do work for residential and commercial properties or companies or people or whatever. Like there, there's a whole nother segment of municipal which obviously a lot of people aren't thinking about. So maybe this is a way you could work your way into a niche, which I highly recommend figuring out what the niche is in your business and really focus on one thing. It's really hard to be good at everything. Uh, it's a lot easier to be really good at, at one thing or maybe two things in your business, something like that. Um, so what, what exactly am I talking about? So I, like I said, I, I don't know about getting like these uh, government contracts and, and stuff like this. Um, I do know a guy who owns uh, one of the bigger companies in our area and he had, he had all like the interstate contracts, like all the on ramps, off ramps and a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of bush hogging and stuff like this, like there's nothing that I would ever want to do. Um, I actually got contacted by a guy who ran his business out of Lexington, which is about 60 miles south of here, and <laughs> went to do one of the exit ramps that he had the contract for uh, several years ago before this local company got all these around here. And uh, I went and I said, no, 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 we're not doing this. I had to call the guy and be like, look, dude, we cut about a third of it. I'm not gonna charge you, but we're not finishing. This is way underpriced. There's so much trash. We can't even cut anything. It's dangerous. So I, I'm not really into that. but. The, the contract that I had was for the overgrown lawns in my city. So what would happen is, for whatever reason, the grass wasn't being cut at these houses, right? So the city would send their little city ordinance guy around and he would put a notice on their door. So their, their grass at this point is six or eight inches high. Um, they put the notice on the door, they give them like 10, 14, 21 days, some, something too long, they give them too long to actually cut the grass themselves. And then if the, the property owner, uh, maybe it was a vacant property, maybe it was an older person, maybe what, whatever the reason was, the grass wasn't cut, D didn't matter, the city didn't care, the grass wasn't cut. So then they just send us a list, like periodically, uh, sometimes it, we'd get two, two lists a week, Sometimes we get one list a month, like it was it was random. Uh, we had to work this into the schedule and stuff like this. But the way that I structured this deal with my city is I said, hey, look, we're, we're going into these properties. Um, there's potentially trash, stuff we can't see under the grass, um, random, just a lot of junk in the yards, stuff like this. Like they're, they're certainly not ideal jobs. I believe I have pictures and if I do, I will be rolling them throughout the video. I really hope I can find those. Um, but the, I mean, some of these some of these lawns just got super duper tall, couldn't even run the mower through them or anything. It was like run through with a trimmer, uh, rake that up, bag it, tarp it, whatever, uh, run through it on like a walk behind, popping a wheelie, um, you know, get those clippings out of the way and then run over it like three, four or five times with the mower as fast as you can, knock it down. Um, there wasn't really any edging or anything in these jobs. It was just like, get it presentable. Uh, they didn't want clippings and stuff like that. But I had this structured to, we charged them, we gave them an hourly rate, and then at the end of the job, <laughs> we charged them based off of the time involved. So I don't know if you can finagle this with um, a lot of these cities or not, but uh, the, the one I dealt with, they were very open to it and it, it worked out 100% perfect for us. 
Uh, honestly, it worked out good for them because if I would have had to give in, like went to every property every time they sent a list and quote it, like I would have charged them for that time. And when I gave them that quote, it would have been over and beyond whatever I, I knew was a safe quote. Like I was not gonna screw ourselves on these jobs. So I, uh, I got it to where we charged th this much basically per minute, per man, and they were fine with it. And that, that made it so every single job we did for the city turned out to be just right for us. So um, I, what I did is I got in with the city administrator. So I, I worked my way in to get a meeting with the city administrator and then I was connected through him to like the city ordinance guy and that's how, that's how we got the contract. And I would strongly suggest you reach out to, to your local uh, places like this. Maybe it's the city, maybe it's the county, something like that. And figure out who you need to talk to and get on their radar. If they don't know who you are, they cannot hire you. So, you know, contact them, uh, get, get in their ear and follow up with them. Stick, stick with it, be persistent, don't be annoying. And maybe you can lock up one of these contracts and make that a little niche for your business. It was super duper profitable for mine. I bet if you if you worked out that same type deal, it would be super profitable for yours too. So that is just something to think about. Don't limit yourself to residential and commercial. Think about municipal contracts. And until the next video, keep making money.